Praise the Lord, beautiful people of God. This morning devotion is entitled Friendly Finn by Glenn Peckham. Am I my brother's keeper? Genesis chapter 4 verse 9. A marine biologist was swimming near the Cook Islands in the South Pacific when a 50,000 pound humpback whale suddenly appeared and tucked her under its fin. The woman thought her life was over, but after swimming slowly in circles, the whale let her go. It's then that the biologist saw a tiger shark leaving the area. The woman believed the whale had been protecting her, keeping her from harm. In a world of danger, we are called to watch out for others. But you might ask yourself, should I really be expected to be responsible for someone else? Or in Cain's words, am I my brother's keeper? The rest of the Old Testament resounds with the thunderous response, yes. Just as Adam was to care for the garden, so Cain was to care for Abel. Israel was to keep watch over the vulnerable and care for the needy. Yet they did the opposite, exploiting the people, oppressing the poor, and abdicating the calling to love their neighbors as themselves. Yet in the Cain and Abel story, God continued to watch over Cain, even after he was sent away. God did for Cain what Cain should have done for Abel. It's a beautiful foreshadowing of what God in Jesus would come to do for us. Jesus keeps us in his care, and he empowers us to go and do likewise for others. Who has God entrusted to you to care for? How have you embraced that responsibility? Have you tried to evade or avoid that responsibility? Let us pray. Compassion on God, thank you for your care for me. You keep me and you watch over me. Help me to do the same for others. Amen. Once again, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Please pass this devotion to five people and encourage them to subscribe as well. God bless you and you have a great day.